Okay, so today I got for you a 2005 Mustang instrument cluster with some bad stepper motors and the screen's not coming on. So let's go ahead and power it up. I'd like to do the test sweep on it, but since the screen's not coming on, I can't remember how long it takes for the, uh, the test sweep to come on. So let's uh, get this thing apart real quick and take a look at it. It looks like it has been apart before. The uh, needles are sitting pretty high there. So let's uh, get this thing apart and take a look. Okay, so now we have the uh, instrument cluster apart, uh, so let's take a look at it. So as you can see, we have a similar stepper motor to the GM instrument clusters, which these are what gives us problems on here. So these stepper motors have failed, and we'll go ahead and replace them. Okay, so uh, I made a mistake. I had one of the wires not hooked up, which was the reason why I wasn't booting all the way up, and we didn't have the screen. So the screen is functional. Um, I was looking at it, I was like, I don't see anything wrong with it, so I double-checked what I was doing, and I just had left the wire unhooked. So uh, we'll go through and replace these stepper motors real quick, and this will be a pretty, pretty quick repair. Okay, so now we're going to remove the stepper motors. So these Mustangs have the same problem as you'd see in the Silverados where the uh, C5 stepper motors, uh, the light's blurring out, there we go, C5 stepper motors, these are the uh, one five, or sorry, 589 uh, instead of the 168s so like the Chevrolet used, but it's still a C5. So it has the same problem with the plastic core and it failing, um, and they, they go up through the board instead of sitting on top. Uh, the uh, thing you'll find that these are a little bit more difficult to get off because the vias are a lot smaller on here so as you saw I had to take some more solder to get the solder out that was still stuck in the via on those ones so uh, these are a little bit more difficult to get out than the Silverados but it's it's really not that bad so let's go ahead and put the new ones on and that'll be about it for it Okay, so now we've soldered them on. Let's put this thing back together. 
Okay, I didn't show setting the needles back on there, but it's done the same way as the truck. So if you've seen any of my videos of doing the Silverados or anything like that, you just set the needles the same way. Uh, fuel still just a needle width below E, and uh, all of the rest just set right on zero. So it's a pretty simple cluster to get back together. You have to put the uh, bottom back on before you can put the top on, because the top is actually held on to the uh, bottom there. So that's really all there is to it. And we'll go ahead and do a little sweep test here of the motors so that way you can see that they all work so there we go we have a fully functioning instrument cluster uh, i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you in the next one